So in previous video, um, we talked about the, the benefit of using the, the grid to draw the A. There are so many variations that you can create. So what you want to do is make sure that what kind of design would make uh, one point perspective A looking uh, better and two point and three points. It gets trickier as you go to the second um, two point perspective and three point perspective. So this one is so far, um, it would be much better in two point or three point perspective. The reason is we'll be able to cut it on the top, but you need to extend a little bit more to create more, much more proportionally better looking. Since two point perspective, it's going to be squeezed from the angle. So you might want to have four boxes instead of three boxes that might uh, have enough space to show. So let's do it. Uh, and one point perspective, we already draw the lines. Uh, I did a uh, one centimeter on top and bottom and connected it and left and right side. So it's most uh, basic way of drawing the uh, A, right? Okay. And then all these corners you can connect it to vanishing point. this here and the top so if you want to cut it it doesn't matter how thick and that's all up to how much thickness you want it to be and then see parallel to each other and then you draw the line to complete it okay all right now if you want to draw something uh, the sharper edge you can always connect this one to here Right, and then you can do that way too. Right, so only problem you're gonna face is there are gonna be a small window, so you probably want to get this part uh, in the middle. That's why, in the previous uh, explanation, I always wanted to extend to the top more and then cut them after you finish that. That's what we're going to be doing in um, here. So I already separated into the enough boxes, right? So how I did the proportionally get smaller is first decide the uh, thickness. And this is the center line that goes through. Remember how I always created X and then create a center and then connect it to the vanishing point. But since this is a separate into six boxes, already there's a uh, center line passing through. So all you have to do is corner and then connect that and then bring it up and the same thing connect the corner corner bring it down and then bring it up here to there and then and then bring it up then it's proportionally reduced so one two three four boxes so I'm going to do left and uh, right side. So if I bring it all the way to the top as a corner, connecting to the top, all right, remember, if I bring it back, this corner and this corner connected to the top in the center. So two column on the left, two column on the right. So two column, two columns to the right. And then from there, this is already connected from here to here. Do you see the line? And this one, we connected it. Right? And then this will be the center uh, triangle. And this will be the bottom. And then what do we do? So in here, that's a uh, your design. So if you want to cut it here, or here, that's up to you. But I'm just going to use one box for each level. So my design, final design will be looking like this. Okay. And then, you need to connect the rest. 
هست Always go to the open corner to connect. Since we know how much thickness we want, so we're not going to go all the way. So we just cut it. Okay. And parallel to this line, go up. And we forgot that line. Always seems to forget one part. So parallel to that. That's why it's uh, much easier using the um, transparent ruler. And that corner that means, and we follow that vanishing point, and then draw the line to complete the A. Okay? So if we go to this one, same routine, corner to corner, okay? And this is already connected. So once you this time, let's extend and see how that A looks like. We'll just use exact uh, point here. So if you like this kind of design, point here on the top. Right? That's a personal taste. But uh, be careful when you do this kind of design in three-point perspective. reason is, Remember three-point perspective, as it goes up, it gets reduced on the top. So this will be even more narrower on the top. So you need to decide that should I do this kind of design or more flat on the top, because since it's going to be reduced more, and then which one it will be looking better, that's your call. Right? So it all depends on what kind of design. This one is a little bit off. I move the ruler where I'm drawing. So steady hand, right? Go down. So let's say I want to have this one this much thickness. And then I stop there, stop there, and parallel to that. And that corner, that should be connected to that. Right? And then parallel to this line and then there's a on this direction so it's really uh, if you have an a it's just going this angle right good so one point if you turn this uh, thing around like this way then a will be created so one point, two point, it's not really a different thing. They are same thing depending on where they are, the position of the objects. Okay. So if you do the, uh, let's say three point perspective, then what you want to do is create a center line. You have to decide both directions. Let's say I have a, a creating here. So three point perspective, every corner you must connect it to the vanishing point. Let's say if I want to make uh, this much thickness, right, and the top, it. So that means you have to consider each box separately, right, and then from there. You connect it to over there, and then that's where this goes on the top, right? And then here, all you have to do is find this corner and find the center here, and then you create a center line there. So one, two. Now, if you find the center for this particular box, Right, it's already there. Then if you connect this, then you have one, two, three, four columns, just like that, one, two, three, four. But the question is, this side has to be proportionally reduced also. So it, I, we already established this one proportionally, finding the uh, corner here, corner and connected to. And now this one and this one needs to be connected. 
So we got one, two, three. Right? And then keep going. It's the same pattern. Right? And then this one and this one you connect. So it's much difficult process wise. One, two, three, four. And you connect that to there. And then this one and this one you connect right and then you draw this way right so let's just stop there and then to save some time and what's going to happen see much uh, higher that corner to there right that corner to this corner So this will be and right. See how different it looks when you do the A, right? So it's more even squeezed, especially this side, right? So if you make something a little bit wider, it will be uh, better looking, right? Okay, so rest will be the same. You just apply the same thing, but always remember. Let's say you decide to uh, put it here, right? Then you need to always follow the same rule, right? That means there's a back A there, right? And that's gonna be over there. So here, and then connect that to here. Right. Okay.